Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for October 16th and 17th, Wednesday and Thursday, from my Aries. Hello, my Aries. I hope that you got out there for that Aries full moon on the 13th. If not, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, you can still do that, and it's time to release, relinquish, and request. But be specific. Well, on Wednesday, Thursday, I use my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. We'll leave the rest. Okay, card fallen. We're going to pick it right up here. Okay, let's go right ahead then and cut for the other two cards. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler, so I hear things. And I will tell you whatever that is. Okay. For all three cards, face down, first and third are reversed. Stronger message to me. Let's go on. The Knight of Michael. Oh, you, you, you are so focused. Your thoughts are like, I'm going that way and that's what I want. So whatever it is, you are going after it. Whatever you've been thinking about, you know, you, it's like, I, I want, I see, I want, I go after now, of course, I always tend to think it's more work-related. It could be in a, you know, it could be a work relationship. It could be intimate. It could be family. But I think it's more work, okay? And I do want to caution you because this is popping into my head. If this is more intimate, um, and or this could be your or with your family. It could even be with your work. There is a caution that you may be a, a bit overwhelming. Okay, and because of that, because, you know, because you're, you're putting forth such strong energy that the others, you know, whoever that is, you know, I'm going to kind of go with the family or the intimate, but it could be work, that they tend to withdraw from you and they don't necessarily see that side of you. So really be aware, my Aries, of, you know, of, of overwhelming the other party. But knights in itself, knights are very directional. Now, Michael is air energy in this deck. It is our Libra. It is our Aquarius and our Gemini energy. Okay, so again, I really feel like, you know, just because this is where you want to go and what you want, it doesn't mean that, you know, I, I just really want to caution you against being, I don't know if it's being controlling, being, I just keep feeling overwhelmed. By the, by the energy of the Knight of Michael in this deck. Okay, time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. And I do feel like, yeah, that logic over emotion is, you know, I'm not saying not to um, present and not to be, you know, not to really say. I'm just saying the emotional, when I was, when I saw this, all of a sudden it was like, whoa, this is too, this was a lot to handle. So be, be aware of that that type of energy. Okay, now it might be that it's too much for you to handle too. It might not necessarily be from you to another. It could be just from whatever the situation is to you, but it was overwhelming for a moment there. Okay, next card is the Queen of Ariel. The Air Ariel in itself is our Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, solid energy, money energy, your home. Could be you know something you can actually touch and put your hands on. And the queen is about um, abundance, and a queen, the queen is about beautifying, and the queen is about, like, you know, making sure that everything is where everything, um, it's not just what's needed, but what's wanted also. So to me, this could be, this is very much, um, this could be about your home itself, or it could be about your, um, you know, your, your career in itself too. So this is nurture yourself and those you love. Um, again, you know, just, just be really, you know, just, just really be careful about this because if it's somebody that you really care for, you know, just be, or a situation, I don't know. I'm just feeling, just be really, really, um, considerate. I feel like these two really join together. So nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. The Queen of Ariel is mature, practical, generous, and happy. Okay, your last card, and this is reversed also, is the Nine of Michael. Okay? Now, Michael is, again, that air energy. Nine, something is, something is coming to kind of a completed state. 
It doesn't mean that it's ended, but maybe the pieces have all fallen in place to the puzzle, okay? And this is about not, not this is about, okay, you know, okay, the pieces are falling in, and this is cautioning you, this is telling you, hey, let the pieces, you know, let the pieces fall where the pieces fall, and don't necessarily worry about the outcome of this. So, your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome. Well, this one, focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. So don't worry about the outcome, but at the same time, you know, present. You know, this is what I want. So if it's about a, a promotion, don't worry about it. You can't control what you can't control, but at the same time, you can put it out there. I want a promotion, okay? I want a job that makes more money, or I want to make more money in the job I have, okay? Sometimes... Again, I, I always say is you don't necessarily, you know, um, make it so specific. Say, uh, you know, if I have to work, I want, a, I want a job that I really enjoy and that makes a lot of money, okay? So focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Again, this is that connection with your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine. Having that connection, you know, kind of putting that up there. Is this what, you know, is this the right path for me? Is this where I need to go? But Wednesday, Thursday, it does look like you do have this really strong focus. Be careful again. If you are going for a new job, if you're going for a promotion, you know, you may want to, you know, just be careful that, um, you know, you don't obsess over it. Um, be careful that you don't um, push to the point that where, as they were thinking about you now, because you pushed, they now are no longer thinking about you because it let it unfold. Let it unfold because as it unfolds, it looks like, you know, it says your worry is unnecessary. Okay? I hope that makes sense to you, my Aries. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And my Aries, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.